Hey everybody, Skyler here, and today I wanted to talk to you about Facebook and Telegram launching a cryptocurrency. But before I end up getting started, I would just like to mention that I do make these videos every single day, so if you are interested in the crypto space or into cryptocurrency at all, then subscribing and liking is not a bad idea. And I also uh, donate 100% of anything that I make off of this name and off this channel to charity, so every single like and subscribe goes a very long way for me so but but let's just get started into the story so uh, I actually have seen these seen many posts like this and I was gonna post something about it last week um, and it seemed like every time I was gonna p start a video on it some big news ended up coming out and I talked about that instead but uh, at any rate um, uh, this just came out from the New York Times and uh, written very very well um, I'm glad that Nathaniel Popper is someone I follow on um, on Twitter. I, I like the posts that he, he ends up posting. But at any rate, uh, he ended up writing this. And um, essentially, there was just to kind of break down the article and then a couple other articles. I'll link everything um, in the video. But uh, there was uh, five people that got talked about about what's going on with Facebook and their cryptocurrency. So when I first started following Facebook, they had about um, they had about five ten employees working in their crypto area, and then listings start started popping up on their uh, LinkedIn account, and then uh, now they have about fifty people working there, and other Facebook employees can't even enter the the uh, building. Their uh, ID cards don't even work, so it's very very hush hush. And so far, it has been hush hush because there has not been any big revealing secrets of what's going on in that uh, on that project. But um, but with that, um, we're going to also talk about Telegram as well. Um, but um, but yeah, so I'll finish with with Facebook and then I'll kind of dive into to Telegram. But uh, so Facebook essentially, they are going to what what the, what they think is what's going on is they are going to launch a, a crypto asset of some sort that is pegged to uh, a few currencies combined, and then um, and then it's always going to be adjusted by whatever is happening with you know the the currency um you know us dollar or the euro there's like five currencies it's it's pegged on and they they're doing that because they want people to be able to hold the crypt the coin the crypto without freaking out that it's going to drop dramatically and they're going to lose money which is a big fear that is that is um a very um you know i i, I understand that fear very much and it's um, something that a lot of people are nervous to get into Bitcoin for, but at any rate, uh, they are seemingly going to be um, aiming it towards borderless payments, so you can end up transferring currencies and from one country to another very, very cheap, very fast, and which obviously is a huge problem we have going on right now. Um, I don't know if anybody knows this or if anybody has a struggle or problem, but if you want to send a hundred bucks to Mexico, for instance. I'm, and if you're in San Diego and you want to send fifty bucks to Tijuana, which is like an hour and a half drive, it's going to take one to three days, and it's going to cost you like twenty bucks to send that hundred dollars. Um, and it's 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 not even an hour and a half drive. It's I'm I'm thinking about it with with traffic. It's like twenty miles. <laughs> it's right over the border. Um, yeah, it's 20 minutes to get into Mexico. It's four hours to get out, eight hours to get out, <laughs> whatever it is. Um, at any rate, that's obviously a broken system, and, and it's something I complain about all the time. How is it that we've been able to send emails across the world, communicate with each other in an instant, um, do live video presentations with hundreds of people at once all around the world, yet it takes one to three days and could cost 20% or more to send your money <laughs> I mean, it could cost less too if you're sending more, but still, uh, when when it's sending micro payments is kind of impossible nowadays, and it seems like we're very very backwards when it comes to how we're handling money. Any at any rate, Facebook is gonna is aiming to solve. At least that's what the reports are. Is they're aiming to solve that that problem. Um, so they are wanting to uh, take their their crypto, and they're gonna want to. Um, 
uh, people use it on their three apps, which are, you know, Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, Instagram. And uh, they say right here, the integration that could take more than a year would extend the reach of Facebook digital currency across 2.7 billion people. So that is, <laughs> I mean, so it's awesome because it validifies cryptocurrency um, as a whole, validifies blockchain as a whole. Um, and I think it is going to be a very good thing. And whether people buy it or not, it won't matter because it's, it's a stable coin. Um, and it's controlled by Facebook. Now, one of the big problems that you know that these that everybody has is we don't want cryptocurrency was was originally created to remove centralization and to allow decentralized applications. And the first application that was used was currency. So, um, so like Ripple, I think Facebook is going to solve a very big problem currently facing the world today. But it's a band-aid. It's not, it's not replacing the system. It's putting band-aids on the system or just improving the current system we have better. But uh, if, if we want to get away from centralization, you know, a, a currency that's owned by a big company is not going to fix that problem. Now, there are other um, um, companies out there that would... Uh, in fact, right here, the big question uh, yeah, the big question facing Facebook is how much it would uh, retain over the digital coin. If Facebook is responsible for approving every transaction and keeping track of every user, it is not clear why it would need a blockchain system rather than a traditional centralized system like PayPal. And so we kind of don't know what's going on. We don't know if it's going to be a stable centralized currency coin, if they're going to be complete in control. There's also been rumors that you know, um, I mean, what's going on with Telegram? You know, there's, um, you know, if, if anyone doesn't know Telegram, so Telegram was, um, so yeah, anyways, that's Facebook. Um, I'll link the article, you can read this whole thing, but uh, but yeah, they're, they're hopefully, I mean, if 2.7 billion people can now use cryptocurrency within the next 12 months, that's gonna be awesome. And it's gonna open people's eyes towards Bitcoin. And I think people, once, once people understand I think Bitcoin right now, I so I I also grew up in a network marketing family. My my family did very very well. I had I almost half a dozen family members make uber crazy amounts of money doing network marketing. It just wasn't my jam, and you know there's a lot of dishonest shady people in that industry. And I feel like Bitcoin has that kind of, you know, it's like oh don't talk to me about cryptocurrency you know like oh I don't I don't care about your MLM don't don't invite me to your living room freaking meetings like you know I think I feel like it has that same vibe and I hate that because for one um, you know Bitcoin is complete honest open it's like it solves all these shady problems but it, I don't like that it has that like embarrassment of talking about it just because so many people have lost so much money that uh you know it's it's rough to be like hey you know buy crypto and they're like yeah i just spent ten thousand dollars and it was at 20k and now it's you know and then i sold out at eight thousand and now i'm pissed off at you or <laughs> whatever but anyways um telegram if anyone knows telegram so telegram was started by a team of russian exiles and they uh pride themselves on um, that says right here, thumbing its nose at governments. Um, this could help Telegram in places like Iran and Russia, where people, especially dissidents, have difficulty using the traditional financial system. So, uh, at any rate, Telegram may be more of a decentralized, you know, coin. Who knows? Last month, they sent a letter to the investors stating that it was ninety percent done with the key components that would work. And so, for its digital token, looks like uh, Gram is going to be the name of its digital token. And that one, you know, um, you know, may may not be pegged to a currency. Uh, and who knows? But uh, pretty interesting. So, uh, and if anyone knows Telegram. Telegram's been known about getting into crypto a long time. Uh, last year, they raised $1.7 billion. They, they had, kept doing rounds of investments, and it was just crazy uh, how much money they just kept earning. So I'm really curious to see what this $1.7 billion is going to produce, but um, there's a lot of people that invested on this ICO last year, 
and I didn't invest in it. It was just way too much money. Um, and you know, I'm sure there's it'll succeed. And um, you know, Telegram it, it seems like it doesn't have a brake on the company, um, brake pedal on the company. But um, but at any rate, they're also um, uh, looking to uh, as soon as. Um, Telegram actually raised this 1.7. David Marcus got hired on to start the Facebook crypto effort. So I'm sure they saw those numbers and were like, oh, crap. <laughs> but at any rate, um, uh, in fact, right here, I like this. Facebook is, is looking at several ways to use the blockchain, the technology introduced by Bitcoin to make it possible to keep shared records of financial transactions on several computers rather than relying on a big central player like PayPal or Visa. So... Um, so, you know, they may be incorporating the devices as well that's using Instagram and WhatsApp and, you know, whatnot to, um, to mine the currency as well. Anyways, really interesting. Read the article. It's very well written. There's a lot of information in here. Um, and uh, there's a lot of uh, interesting articles that are linked as well. But uh, I just found that very, very interesting. <coughs> Let me know what you think. Do you think uh, Facebook and Telegram, their coins that they're going to create is going to be good for the crypto industry, if it's going to be bad for the crypto industry? Um, you know, tell me what you think uh, you know, their coins are going to be like. Um, really interested to know your opinion. So, uh, but that's it for me today. I will see you all tomorrow. Uh, again, uh, and, you know, anyone who likes these videos, I make them every single day. So liking and subscribing if you're into the crypto space is not a bad idea. And um, everything I make does go straight to charity. So I'm like, serious, every single like and subscribe is going to help a lot. Super appreciate everyone already has and who has watched this. Have a good one. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye. Thank you.